In this video, I'm going to show you how you can observe diffraction of white light by a single slit, as shown here. Notice that the central fringes are white because all wavelengths of light are present, but then the subsequent fringes have got red on the outside and blue on the inside, red on the outside and blue on the inside, and that's because red light has a longer wavelength and so is diffracted more than the blue light. All you need is a filament bulb. I've used one with a thin vertical filament, and then you need a single slit, which here I've attached to an iPhone. If you're doing that, once you are looking at it, you'll need to reduce the brightness in order to be able to see it. It actually works really well to just hold the single slit directly in front of your eye and look at the lamp through the single slit. But instead, you might choose to attach it to a phone. Here I've used an iPhone SE 2022. And at the moment, the iPhone is looking down at this pattern on the bench. Now I'm going to slide the slit in front and then you've got to line it up with the sensor. And there you can see I've lined it up well with the sensor. And a really interesting thing to note is that if we compare what it looked like beforehand with what it looks like now, you can see that because of the diffraction through the single slit, I can still see the big splodges, but the smaller tiny ones are no longer visible. Back to our setup, you may find it useful if your light bulb is not a very thin filament to put another single slit, which doesn't have to be very narrow in between, so that you're only looking at a small part of the filament. Then all that remains is to make sure it's all lined up and reduce the brightness on the camera so that you can clearly see the single slit diffraction without it being saturated by white light. And hopefully you agree that the result is lovely in that you get the central bright fringe surrounded by the subsidiary maxima which look like little spectra.